What's going on? How y'all doing? What's going on, Nate? All right, y'all. No drill. Um, raise your hand. We'll start making our way down. We can talk to talk to Nate here. Luciano, we'll start with you. Hey, Nate. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Doing good. Glad to hear. You're coming off with our probably two best games of your career against Minnesota and Syracuse. How are you feeling about yourself right now? And what would you say is allowing you to play at such a high level? You know, just uh, coming out to practice every day, uh, just uh, practicing hard, continue to practice hard, and try to keep the uh, most momentum uh, we got. Jeremiah? Good morning, Nate. Hope you're doing well this morning. Um, I wanted to ask you about, obviously, you know, Tez Walker being back in that lineup. J.J. Jones had a, you know, got off to a great start this season, you know, leading the team receiving at one point. Then you add, you know, Tez Walker kind of to that mix. How has that kind of opened up things for you? Um, obviously, you had the, the game you had against Syracuse, but having those two guys at the, on the outside, how has that kind of opened things up for you? Uh, his weapons all around the field. Uh, it just happened to, uh, you know, some plays just were designed to hit certain people. And, you know, uh, when your number's called, you know, you make the play. Yeah, for sure. And I'm sure you've probably seen the video of uh, the one catch you had. Uh, I think you ended up down at the one, but at the other side of that catch, uh, Tez had his hands up kind of signaling, uh, you know, you know, touchdown. But just kind of what does that visual just kind of say of, you know, having receivers kind of of that – Caliber both kind of being uh you know available in this in this offense. You know, it's just confidence all uh, all over the board. Uh, just to be able to go to um any receiver that you know Drake wants to hit that play. Um, you know, just try to be across the board. Try to be open every play. Andrew. Hey Nate, uh, both Drake and Max said on that specific play that that was the Tez effect that you're you guys might be able to extend your routes more because Tez is on the field because there's so much attention that has to be paid to paid to him. So tell me what you think the Tez effect means. Oh, no doubt. Uh if I'm a defense, I'm looking for Tez every play. Uh that boy fast. He he has that effect. So if he is double covered, he might get open again. Um you know, I, if I'm a defense, I'm worried about Tez. So what is it like this week, game planning with him on the offense instead of working scout team to try to help the defense? Uh, obviously, we'll have some Obviously, we'll have some stuff to aim for him. Uh, but, you know, every week is a different approach to because uh, it's a different team. You know, whatever we see that we could is a weakness of Miami, we'll try to hit them with it. So, And if I could add to that, that, just the idea of game planning with that weapon now. You guys hadn't game planned with that weapon all season, but now you are. So does that take you guys up another notch, two notches? What does it do for you? Oh, most definitely. It's, you know, it's just more power for us, you know, more more firepower, you know, something we want every week. Cool. Thanks, man. Adam? Hey, Nate. How's it going, man? I'm good. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, I was thinking, I don't know that we've ever asked you, how would you just compare or, you know, assess what like the offenses you played in at Georgia Tech and this offense that you've gotten into now? Like, you know, was it a was it a massive learning curve for you or were they very similar? Like, can you just sort of like maybe compare and contrast like what you came from and how you've tried to to learn about getting into this system at UNC? Uh yeah, it, it it was pretty different. Uh, Coach Galloway allows us to be looser, and what where I was coming from, it's just a, a looser approach. But obviously, be in the spot you need to be in at the right time. So it it was. I was more when I did come over. It was more like I was tight. You know, I could only do this, but just to be looser now. So yeah. maybe maybe allow for more creativity. I don't know. Right. Is that yeah. is that how? Yeah. Yeah, you hit it right there, yeah. Just okay. be more creative, you know. Did he ever say to you, like, hey, look, you know, it's not it's not that serious. Like, just, you know, if you get to where you need to get to, you can do, you, you know, you have creative license here. Did you? Did he ever tell yeah. you not to be so, like, stiff with it? Yeah, run to the green grass. If green grass, go. And Drake is the same way. Hey, if, if it's open, go. So, yeah. 
Thank you, ma'am. Andrea? Uh, hi, uh, Nate. Um, just wanted to ask you one other thing about Tez. Just how did you guys keep his spirits up when he was waiting and thinking maybe he wouldn't be able to play this season, you know, knowing that, um, you know, he wasn't going to live out his dream. And then what was the reaction of the team when he got to play last week? You know, just uh, as, as a receiver group, just try to keep him in, as involved as possible. You know, just check up on him every day, uh, even at practice, try to give him some, uh, some looks. With the, with the starting O, oh, just to keep him on the side, just to, you know, because we never knew when his number would be called. So when it was, everybody was hyped up, you know, hey, let's go. It's time to go. So. And with you and what you've done the last couple of weeks, is this just a sign of you feeling 100% healthy after being a little bit dinged up earlier in the year? Uh, I don't think you ever 100% healthy, <laughs> but I feel good, you know, every week. You know, I prepare myself to be ready to go. So, thank you, Tommy. Nate, uh, I guess you had opportunity to see Georgia Tech this past weekend. And aside from the crazy ending, do you sort of watch that game or, or go back and look at that game and see what your guys are able to do against Miami, and then maybe you know factor that into the game plan for you guys this week? Oh, no doubt. Uh, obviously, we watched we watched every game they played this year. Uh, you know, I see I see boys that fly around the field with, for Miami. You know, um, you know, I played them last year with my previous team, and they they were a great team last year, and I think they're a great team this year. They fly around, uh, super, just super excited to play a good team like Miami. So, appreciate it, David. Nate, you guys have scored at least thirty points in every game this season. But with Tez back on the field and you rounding in to help, is there a sense that this offense really hasn't even hit its stride yet? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that. I just, I just feel like, hey, any game, I think we, we, we try to shoot for as much as possible. So, yeah. uh, Adam. Nate, the the Georgia Tech Miami game obviously got very weird at the end uh, a couple nights ago. Just like, what was your reaction to that? Were you watching? You know, I know Drake said he had turned it off because you know Miami had the game one, so he he, he said yeah. he changed the channel. You know, like, well, just how how did you how did you see all that go down or hear about it? Uh, the game. Uh, I I think a lot of the stuff played into that game. The conditions. I didn't know it was raining. I forgot Miami was open. Uh, it was raining. Um, I watched the whole game. Then my boys, so I watched the whole game. I yeah. like to support them. But yeah, I mean, I, anything can happen. So, as you can see, so. I mean, did you jump out of your seat when anything started happening? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was pretty cool to see Tech win, but yeah. I mean. Uh, last one, Shelby. Yeah, sorry. Along those lines, I just wanted to ask, were there any, like, messages or calls made to former teammates after seeing that crazy ending to the game? Who, who From me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I told them congrats. Uh, yeah, the boys I talked to, I told them congrats. You know, just keep on going, you know. You know, celebrate for 24 hours. Keep, keep it pushing, you know. Long season. Perfect. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it. Thank you, Nate. Set me up, set me up.